Hello, and welcome to the Mary F. English Program's training video for understanding digital footprints and social media, part of our module series on Internet Security. In today's increasingly media-hungry world, everything you do online leaves a digital footprint. Essentially, a tracking of what you have done, what websites you frequent, what pictures you share, and so on. A world of information can be found on just about anybody by simply running their name into a Google search. Websites exist with information on hometowns, ages, family members, and much more for almost every person on Earth. And once you have just a little more information about somebody, searching for their name plus their hometown or their family can produce even further results. It's likely that this information may also produce various accounts that you hold. If somebody searching for you were to stumble upon these accounts, they'll have a much easier time getting information about you. Hopefully, none of your previous web workings are linked to anything negative already. You should be careful in your use of social media so that you don't share anything about yourself that you aren't comfortable with everyone seeing. This can include things such as photos, personal opinions, and previous work and relationship information. All of these can be troublesome when it comes to getting potential careers and can even prove dangerous in situations where someone is actively trying to find information about you. It is important to be extremely careful about what you post on the internet. As adults, it's likely that you already know this, but make sure you consider the best ways to teach this to your future students, who may not know any better. A great tool for this is Edmodo a social media interface aimed towards students in elementary schools, which will allow them the experience of connecting on social media while still being moderated by an educator. This will teach kids what is and is not appropriate for social media spaces. If you're interested in Edmodo, we have recently published a video tutorial on the topic. Click here to check it out. With everything you post online also comes the possibility of the media going viral. Viral media is called that because it spreads like a disease. When a media goes viral, it can be seen by many, many people. Here's an image I posted online last year. The counter, as you can see, has over a million views on it. Now, here's where the trouble comes in. I might be able to delete this photo, as I own the account, but a quick Google image search reveals that the photo has been taken and reposted to a dozen different websites. In short, I would not be able to remove the image from the internet even if I tried. For this image, I am not too concerned, but had this been an image I was not comfortable with, many people have already shared it and I would be rather upset that I could not take the media down. It is important to talk to your students about their digital footprints and their use of social media. Studies show that while most students are receiving smart devices in elementary school and creating social media accounts, they aren't well prepared with the knowledge to stay safe and make good choices on the internet. With social media still being a relatively new medium and many people not fully knowing the ramifications of using it, it is necessary to talk to students so they can get the full picture before they make a bad choice online. This concludes our tutorial on digital footprints and social media. I hope you will take the information presented here seriously and make informed decisions in your future online workings. I also hope that you will take the time to teach the information here to your future students. Thank you.